increasing demand for reliable and efficient power solutions, inverters have become an essential component of modern energy systems. As we all know that inverters are devices that convert direct current ADC into alternating current YC, making them indispensable in homes, businesses and industries. Today we will make a comprehensive comparison between normal inverter and hybrid inverter by introducing the energy sources, battery charging, PDN pots, etc to make you have a better understanding of the two products. First, let's start with the functionality. For a normal inverter, it converts direct current ADC power from solar panels or a battery into alternating current YC power to run household appliances during power outages. Differ from the normal inverter. A hybrid inverter performs the same function as a normal inverter, but it also has additional capabilities to manage multiple energy sources, such as solar panels, batteries, and the grid. It can optimize energy usage by intelligently switching between different power sources based on availability and demand. So what's the difference of the two inverters in energy sources? The normal inverter charges the battery through the solar panel, and then the inverter supplies power to the load through the battery. However, the hybrid inverter can directly supply power to the load through the solar panel and charge the battery. In addition, in the case of insufficient solar energy, it can be supplemented by the mains power and supply power to the load at the same time. Battery charging is also an important factor that need to be considered when selecting inverters. In terms of this, the normal inverter can charge batteries using power from the solar panel or a generator, but it cannot charge batteries through the grid. While the hybrid inverter can charge batteries using solar power, grid power, or a combination of both can prioritize solar power to charge batteries during the day and switch to grid power when solar energy is insufficient. In terms of the dual solar panel input, for the normal inverter without dual solar panel input, in cases where there are many solar panels, an additional combiner box needs to be used, which results in high wiring complexity and system cost. But for the hybrid inverter with dual solar panel input, Solar panels can be directly connected to the inverter without the need of additional combiner box, which makes wiring more convenient and saves system cost. The last but not least, the normal inverter with only one AC output. When the battery capacity is low and there is no mains power backup, the electrical equipment will be directly disconnected. War for the hybrid inverter with dual AC outputs. It allows users to connect important loads with smaller power, such as lights, refrigerators, etc., to the secondary output, while others are connected to the main output. When the battery level is low, the inverter will automatically disconnect the main electrical equipment while extending the power supply time of the electrical equipment at secondary output. The above is all of our content and we hope it's helpful. Welcome to visit our official website www.anon.com for more product information and subscribe our channel to get the latest news.